I'll be speaking at the Chester Montgomery County subgroup. It's held at the Sly Fox in Royersford, PA. Where's Royersford, PA, you ask? How the hell should I know? I live in Bucks County. But I'm going to GPS it, and I'm sure I'm going to find it. I am here today with a solid economic plan that makes sense to all human beings, including Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> the plan is to buy more real estate while prices are low, inventory is high, and interest rates are cheap. Let us as Americans invest in our own country's real estate and stop walking around with our hands out looking for the government to take care of us. Trust me when I tell you that the real estate deals out there today are a hell of a lot easier to find than my long form birth certificate. The service is only $99 a month and look at that girl who answers the phone. That's the real girl. All right, I'm lying about that too. <laughs> uh, real estate. All right, let's keep going because I have a feeling this fight will be over soon. Okay. All right, now suppose you bought yourself $100,000 worth of stocks with $100,000. What can you do to increase the value of your stock? Cross your fingers. Oh, you could you could pray. You <laughs> That's could, what I was going to say, pray. You could write a letter to the board of directors wishing them well. <laughs> You can't do anything, my friends. You're done. What could you do to improve a piece You're of real a estate? Of that stuff. Oh, I'd need an entire radio show to explain to you what you could do to a piece of real estate. How about paint the place? How about do some landscaping? How about fill it with tenants who pay more rent, thus making your building more valuable? I should be able to afford to pay somebody to do this. But what you didn't take into consideration is that I'm incredibly cheap. I'm kidding. I'm really not that cheap. But when a problem needs to be solved, the landlord needs to fix it. And if your tenants stop paying you the rent, all you have to do is deactivate their key box. No more evictions, forget that. You just deactivate, it's legal, totally legal. Yeah, I'm kidding about the legal part, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you just watched a clip of a landlord lowering the rent. Now I gotta admit, if, uh, if I was running an apartment to a kingpin of the mafia, I might lower the rent too. Well, there's a video that's become an instant hit on YouTube, almost 2 million hits as of now. Then I spent a decade of my life in college on your country's dime being taught by people who never had to make a payroll in their life and don't understand the first thing about business. <laughs> Falcone, in his book, points out that we all can't be on welfare. Our investment property, if you had $100,000 to put down, virtually getting yourself an investment that is five times the size of your stock Ooh, investment. Sounds like that round goes Have you heard the estate. word leverage? <laughs> <laughs> okay, real estate I think wins round number one there Ding. because you got leverage. Okay. I don't know, I just don't know about these two guys. Part of me thinks that they might be contenders. Part of me thinks they might be pretenders. Make sure you check out next week's episode and let's find out what these guys are made of. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Okay, so if uh, everybody you're hanging around with uh, drinks beer and goes bowling three times a week, chances are your waistline, your weight, and your bowling average are all going to go up. Okay? <laughs> now I know that if you looked at my decisions over the last two years, you may have thought I was trying to destroy our economy rather than improve it. Truth is, I spent more time in my first year picking out my dog than I did working on my economic policy. <laughs> what do you expect from a guy who found Joe Biden to be the perfect right-hand man? Hi, I'm Dave. I'm here to learn a lot about real estate. I hear Phil is the man. But uh, this sounds like a lot of work. I'll tell you what, we don't have time for people with negative attitudes. You're fired! And I got one thing I want to do. I want to close the deal. 
Okay, so how am I going to do that? I came up with a system that works terrific for me. Here it is. A guy comes to my property, he wants to rent it, okay? If he's got a heartbeat, he's already passed the first stage of qualification. He's good. Addicted to real estate. Why I can't stop and why you should start. You're probably wondering, what do I care about that for? I'll tell you why. <laughs> you want to make money. I'm the only friend you've got. I'm making you money. When a tenant leaves my building, I can deactivate his key fob, so he never has to come back, okay? And here's the best part about it. If your tenant doesn't pay your rent, okay, you don't have to evict him. You just shut off his key fob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm lying about the legal part. <laughs> If you present yourself like you know what you're doing, they just think you're some kind of real estate expert. I don't know. If you do it long enough, you might even get to speak at this main meeting. Okay? I mean, let's face it. Selling real estate is a tough thing to do. You know what it takes to sell real estate? It takes brass balls to sell real estate. dollars Why? because you're stuck on that number inside of your coconut there and your skull just won't let any other idea accept it. So most investors, 99 out of 100, are going to walk away from a deal like that. I'm not. I'm going to give you a million dollars. Addicted to real estate, right? So I'm not just some guy who came here to speak to you. I'm your new buddy now, right? This room is tough, man. Sometimes I <laughs> feel like I'm talking to a painting. <laughs> now you're not that bad. Okay? Now I bet you got your driver's license in your wallet and your pay stub is in your glove box of your car. So you're only missing one thing, you need the cash. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, banks are open till noon. Run, Forrest, run. Go get the money and let's close this deal. Have you ever walked into a bathroom where people were videoing inside of it? <laughs> This okay, put them on the camera. The put them on. This is one for the book. <laughs> of course. I think this is a wonderful opportunity to, to discuss topics that <laughs> affect all of us. <laughs> if you guys would just pick up my book and read it, God knows what kind of positive things could happen in your life. Now, what in the hell were you thinking that I am a person who needs to have an intervention? Really, tell me, what is the reason for this? Somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. You guys are, are way too sensitive, all right? Let me tell you something. Uh, it, 2011 is the greatest time to buy real estate that a real estate investor could ever hope for. If you read my damn book, you'd know that. Now, let me tell you something. We need to get out there and get busy buying. That's what we need to do. Not sitting around having a discussion about uh, being addicted to real estate, let alone having an intervention. Now, I've had it with this crap, and I'm going to stop this right now. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not wasting another minute talking about this. Do you understand that? Is that clear? A lot of Americans are struggling right now, and I've had many years where I was struggling. One time I was so poor that for a couple of months I had to go around and live in homes that were for sale that I happened to have the lockbox for. So I've been through some tough years. And look at that. Look at that advertising. Hmm. These giant signs. Just call them. Just call them. Who cares if this building takes a million dollars? My wife used to say, what the heck are you going to look at this building for? Wait, it's five million dollars. You don't have any money. I said, don't worry about it. I'm working on a plan. That's what I tell them. I'm working on something. Right? right. <laughs> so what I want to know, are you people addicted yet? Yes. yes. Ooh, who's not addicted? I want to choke somebody. <laughs> There's got to be one of you is not addicted. <laughs> All right. If you have an addiction, what's the first thing you need to do? Get help. 
Yeah, you need to admit you got a problem, right? <laughs> you need to admit you got a problem. So, welcome to Real Estate Anonymous. I'm gonna ask you, I drove a long way to come to this meeting. I'm gonna ask you guys, I want everybody to stand up for me, okay? Come on, come on. All right, I want you to face this name tag, okay? And you're gonna put your name in where my name is. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. My, my name, name is Jim, and, and I'm addicted, addicted to, to real estate. estate. <laughs> All right. I believe almost all of you. <laughs> this is a little family picture I wanted to finish up with. <laughs> My name's Phil Falcone, and Roman comes with the coveted Phil Falcone seal of approval. I don't give those out easy, so trust me, they're hard to get. If you want one, give me a call at Executech Suites. Again, this message is not for me, though. I just can't help talking about myself. And we're going to try to buy some houses. We're gonna try to make some money. Don't forget, the 10 out of 10 terrorists recommend voting Democrat. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening today. <laughs>